Hello and welcome to another how-to video. In the last video we were looking at the for function and using the at least option and we set up a simple rule for a push notification with some custom text uh, for when a door was left open for at least x number of minutes. In this example uh, we will be looking at a motion activated light so let's jump right into that. If we create a new mesh bot, we select local, we give the rule a name. Now we want to add a trigger for the motion sensor. So we use the device node and we find the motion sensor device we want to use. In this case, I'm using a Fabaro 3 in 1 multi sensor. We then select the device capability that we want to use. And in this example, we need to use whenever motion sensor stops detecting motion, whether it is armed or disarmed. We then press the function button over here. And we select four. And we use the at least option. Now in a real world situation, you probably want several minutes in here, maybe five or ten minutes. So after, say, five minutes, that motion is no longer being detected, then we would run our action to turn off the light. I'm just going to put 20 seconds in here for this demo, just to speed things up. Because that's it for the trigger. We then go to the actions, and we need two actions. We have a true action, so let's add one of those. And again we select the device node and we select the lamp or the light that we wish to control. And we select which capability of that device we wish to use. I'm going to select switch and for the true action it needs to be off. We then also need to create another action under the false tab. So we select that. We add action again. Select device. Select the same light. Select switch. But this time we are selecting on. So the false action switches the light on and the true action switches the lights off. Now this is just a Hank RGBW bulb which I'm using as my device I want to control. We save the rule. Save. If we then switch to the Android mobile app we can see here we have the Hank bulb and we also have the Fabaro motion sensor down here which is not currently trip for motion as the icon here is grey. If I trip the motion sensor, I'll wave my hand in front of it. We can see that the motion sensor has been tripped and the icon has changed to red. Now initially the, the first time the rule is run there is a slight delay and we're just waiting for that, but on subsequent trips of the motion sensor, the light will be operated immediately and I will demonstrate that. So the light has been turned on. Motion is now no longer detected because the icon is now grey. And if we wait for at least 20 seconds, which is what we specified in the rule, then the lamp will be turned off. There we can see it's gone off. So if I just do that again, I'm going to trip the motion sensor. I'll wave my hand in front of it. We can see it's been tripped and this time the light has responded immediately and turned on. When motion is no longer detected or stops detecting motion, for at least 20 seconds, which is what we specified, then again the light will be turned off.
Now, if you're still in the room moving around, then the light would remain on. So we can see motion has stopped being detected. We wait for our 20 second at least. And the light will be turned off. There we go, it's turned off. So as you can see, a very easy way to set up a motion activated light in the MeshBot rules using the for function and the at least option.